20.3 number one. Now, this is 20.3 number one, and this describes a somewhat improbable situation, but I had to come up with something. So, you lose your car all the time, you know. You park your car, you can't remember where your car was when you get back, and so you have come up with a clever idea. You have tied a copper wire to your car, and the other end of the copper wire is tied to your belt. That way, you, in order to find your way back to your car, just need to follow the copper wire, and there's your car. But no sooner do you do that than someone else gets in your car and hits the, puts his pedal to the metal, and off he goes. You run, so he's going as fast as your car can go. You decide you're going to run after him as fast as you can go because you don't want him to steal your car. So you're both going as fast as you can, and then, oh no, there's a street lamp. So you both go on opposite sides, and you start whipping around here, and he's whipping around there, and pretty soon you are stuck there, and so is the car, all tied up, surrounded by copper wire and the, all these loops, and you're stuck. What do you do? Well, here's the thing. Um, you're all hooked up here, and you realize your iron lamp pole, that's a lamp pole, makes a perfect block of iron for a transformer. And it's got an electric current, so you say, ah, I'm going to wire my coil into the 120 volt outlet and see what you get here. Now, if you remember, the voltage in the secondary coil, which is the coil around the car, over the voltage in the primary car coil, coil, which is your coil, which is the one you're hooking up to the 120 volts going through your lamp, is equal to the number of secondary coils over the number of primary coils. Now, cars go faster than you do, so you only whack, whip it around for about a second, but in that second, the car went a lot farther than you did. You're just not as fast as the car. Now, do you know how many coils it is? No. But since you're both wrapped around the street, same street light, you can bet it's going to be proportional. So the number of secondary coils is going to be equal to the velocity of your car at the beginning, which in your case is, in my case, is 42 meters per second. And the number of primary coils is going to be proportional to my primary velocity, 5.6. I'm still pretty fast, but not that fast. And of course, you'll remember that you hooked it up to a primary voltage of 120 volts. So let's find that secondary voltage. So let's see, V2 over 120 is equal to 42 divided by 56 is equal to 7.5. Now, by the way, whether it's coils or meters per second or whatever you got the in units of, if you got the same units on the top and bottom, they're going to cancel out. So it's just 7.5, right? Now, multiply both sides by 120 volts. By the way, it's a dot product. We do make a difference now by 120 volts. And I get that V2, the voltage through the secondary coil, which is going to be what's hitting that car, and hopefully not you, is going to be 900 volts. So let's just say that car thief in the car is going to get one hell of a shock. I know it's silly, but I had to come up with something. Have a nice day. Have fun.